I'm a great whistler. Don't trust them, Stall. I don't trust them. I still don't trust them. There may be others. I doubt it. I don't trust them. Chora. <laughs> Grey Worm, what's his name? The the unsullied dude. Oh, it's good with that staff. Oh. He can hold his own. I love it. Oh god, come on! Fuck. Please, I need something good. I need something good. Please let this be uh, Aria. Oh, is this the um the wedding? <laughs> Who's getting married to Edmure? Which one of those daughters? What's gonna happen? Something's gonna fuck up here. Something's gonna go go fucking wrong. Ha! Ah! Uh, who the fuck is she? Where the hell is she hiding? I hope I'm not a disappointment to you. You're a delight to me, my lady. She's beautiful. Who is she though? Where was she? What's her name? What kind of weird take on Walder is, is her name? <laughs> but let's not forget, just because she's beautiful doesn't mean she's nice. Look upon each other and say the words. Father, Smith, warrior, I am hers and she is mine until the end of my days. Something's going to happen. I don't trust this. Is that safe? Can't believe John left. Cannot believe it. You were right. I can get inside Summer's mind whenever I want. You did a lot more than that. You got inside Hodor's mind. They can't do that north of the wall. No one can do that. When I was looking through Summer's eyes, I saw John. Why are you just telling them now? You could have told... Everything Jojen told me is true. You could have said so earlier, and like, Osha could have gone out and had a look. I don't know. I'm not asking you to come with me. Oh. It won't be safe for Rickon. Oh. I'm coming with you. No. Right now, I have to protect you. He's such a cute kid. Look at those beautiful big eyes. If something happens to us, you're the heir to Winterfell. Will you know how to find the last hearth? You southerners build your big castles and you never move. Come here, little soldier. You and me, we can have some adventures. The Umbers are great warriors. They'll teach you how to swing a sword. How to swing a sword. Oh, Rickon. Fuck. You're leaving now. Say so goodbye, little man. Keep this one safe. He means the world to me. Why? Fuck. Oh, man. We've been waiting a long time. How long does it take to sack a city? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, Jora! It was just as you said. The slave soldiers threw down their spears and surrendered. But? And Dariona Harris? Uh. The city is yours, my queen. 
Okay. <laughs> Clearly, he rose to the occasion. Right, where's Aria? We just need Aria now, please. Make this fucking... Finally something happy going on. He complained about this marriage the entire ride from River One. The gods love to reward a fool. Uncle. He's my nephew. I love him. And he's a damn fool. <laughs> Don't you drink, Lord Bolton? Never do, my lady. So I have a fat young bride. I hope she makes you very happy. Well, she's made me very rich. <laughs> Pardon? <clears throat> my lord, my lady. Nope, she's not happy about that. My mother's alone with Ruth Bolton. I should rescue her. If she had her way, I would be back in Volantis and you would be sitting over there eating blackberries out of Rosalind Frey's hand. <laughs> Rosalind? Perhaps I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. Don't insult them. Lord Edmure has wrapped my daughter in a cloak, but they are not yet man and wife. Oh, God. And the wedding needs a bedding. What does my sire say? If you think the time is right, Lord Walder, by all means, let us bed them. Really? Like, is this an actual thing? They just sit around and wait or watch? I don't know. Obviously, Tyrion's was kind of called off in the last episode. Once you set that monster free, there's no caging him again. <laughs> oh my god. She looks horrified, Salisa. That is a very strange custom. Without the bedding ceremony, there's no real proof the Lord and Lady consummated. There are other ways of providing proof. She told anyone? I know what we should name him. Eddard. Oh. Don't you want to teach little Ned Stark how to ride horses? I do. Oh, God. What's going on? Why is the Reigns of Castamere playing? They've locked the walls up. Wolf. Where are you going? Got salt port for the feast. The feast is over. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got pig's feet too. I think I'm gonna be sick. She's gone. Fuck! He's. He's betrayed them to the Lannisters, hasn't he? I've given you meat and wine and music. Shown you the hospitality you has married, and I owe my new queen a wedding gift. Oh God, he's betrayed them. No! No! the baby oh my god let him out let him out oh god don't kill him don't kill him
king in the north arises. <laughs> She's gone, man. Lord Walter, let it end. You're not getting out of here, Cat. He is my son. Let him go, and I swear we will forget this. We will take no vengeance. You already swore me one oath right here in my castle. But let Rob go. Rob, get up. Get up and walk out, please. He's done. And why would I let him do that? On my honor as She's a not star. Leaving. Let him go, or I will cut your wife's throat. He doesn't care. I'll find another. Mother. The Lannisters send their regards. Fuck's sake. So, that was an ending. I swear to fucking god, these episode 9s and each season so far have been fucking brutal. Though none quite so brutal as that. Rob dead. Cat dead. Betrayed. Not just by Walter, but by Bolton. Is Direwolf dead? All I wanted was for Arya to just be able to see her mum at least. To Lisa, dead, fucking baby. She was dead, that, and I thought she was. That was the baby moving, wasn't it? <sighs> the whole that. The, well, that's them done. They're done. Stark, the house of Stark is done. Their, their army is done, finished. They've lost the north. They're fucked. Who's left? Sansa? Is she the next in line? She is, isn't she? Which means Tyrion. Her and Tyrion. Will they let her know? Will they find out about it? Will she find out about it, I mean. And how are, how is Tywin, Cersei or whoever going to use this in his, their advantage? Because, you know, that was why they wanted Tyrion to wed her. They planned all of this. So Bran, Rickon and the two girls are left. Sansa and Arya. Mum, Dad, older son. All gone. Again, fucking brutal. I don't even want to go through the episode. I just want to turn this off and go and, and be done for the rest of the day. I, I was going to watch a few. I was going to watch the finale. Plus, I've got Breaking Bad and two episodes of um, Clone Wars to watch, and I'm just done. I don't want to do any more.
let's just do a quick of what else we know on this episode. Danny got control of Yonkai and the slaves there. Cool. This guy that she's brought on, Darius. I still don't trust him. I think he's trying to get into Danny's pants. Fucking makeup is fucked. Sam deciding to take her um himself and Ginny. I did it again. It's not fucking Ginny. Jesus. Gilly. Uh, to one of the old keeps, uh, one of the abandoned keeps on the wall, to get past or to stay. Um. Cool. I'm sorry. I'm just really. I'm just like. Bran being able to use his walk abilities to control the mind of Hodor. As Georgian was saying that that's never been done on another person. Animals, yeah, but on people, no. And then Bran's having to say goodbye while sending Rickon and Osher away. That in itself was fucking sad. Going to Umbra or something like that. I mean, Rickon hasn't done much in this um, series so far. He's just kind of followed along. I mean, he's you know, he's, he's still the younger brother. He's kind of just followed along, but you know, it's the separation. God, this <sighs> the separation of them two. You know, that I mean, is Rickon going to have any kind of storyline after this, or is it just going to be fully Brad? I mean, now with Stark, you know, losing two of its higher higher members, or you know, two of its um senior family members have only got the children left and then John obviously um but with the, you know he was so fucking close so close to being reunited with Bran and Rickon but he took off and he left Egret behind dude she's gonna take that as a slight man but yeah I'm sorry like I see nothing 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 happened in this episode to me apart from the last five minutes of it. And Arya being so close that she said that she was, when the Hound was saying that she was scared, that she was going to get so close and then miss the chance. It happened exactly like that. She's got a lot more names to add to her list. Man, I gotta go. I'm done. We're gonna leave it there for today. Thank you for watching with me. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for the finale of Game of Thrones season three. I'm just gonna be over here in a little ball, crying my eyes out. Bye.